I'm going to walk you through and give you a little feature benefit on the Coach House Platinum 2014 271XL. Uh, behind me you'll see here we have Coach House Platinum 271XL, front dinette. Um, you can get a front dinette or a front power sofa, a couple different different models of that floor plan. So your Platinum is going to have, uh, we're going to build on a Ford and Mercedes chassis. This is a Ford E450 Super Duty chassis. It's going to have a Ford Triton V10 power plant. Uh, it's 305 horsepower and it, it'll, it'll pull very well for you. Come around here you'll see that our body goes nice and aerodynamic into our cab and we build a seamless one-piece fiberglass body like a boat upside down. The coach is going to be extremely aerodynamic. It's going to be very well insulated, keep it nice and quiet for you running down the road. I want to start, I want to point out these large extended Velvac mirrors. They're double mirrors with a turn signal inside. Uh, it's going to give you good visibility. Your second mirror here is going to eliminate your blind spot. If you look, we, we put a nice, nice little LED light on your step there so at night you can see where you're stepping to get in and out of the coach. Right over here we're going to have a little storage compartment here for you. Oh actually that's a spot bigger than I thought. That's a huge storage compartment with a pressure switch to turn your LED lighting on and off uh, so you have even lighting throughout even when you're putting stuff in and out of there. Here you're going to have a easy access door to your 4000 gas Onan generator. That's going to feed directly off your 55 gallon fuel tank uh, and shut off at a quarter of a tank so you don't run out of fuel. And I have nice molded uh, right into your body fender flares um, and above you're going to have your auxiliary shower outside shower. So here's your exterior shower. It's going to be a nice extension hose, shower off, wash your feet off, get back by your dump area. And that will also offer you hot and cold water. It's a very nice feature on the unit. We use a shore power cord just like a boat. Uh, very easy, 30 amp service. Try to hook it right in there. And that'll provide your shore power when you're at your campsite or you're plugged in at your house. On your Ford model, if you have a locking gas cap or a locking gas compartment here, uh, so nobody can get into your gas and get out of that 55 gallon fuel tank. Here you're going to have uh, your central control station and where your dump valves are. Gray, black, standard, gravity fed dump valves with a black tank flush here. Keep your sensors clean. Keep your tank flushed out nicely. A little light for at night. Your water fill and city water connection valve. You can keep your, your water plugged right in here to your water fill. Uh, or your city water connection and you can fill your tank with just turning that valve and not having to remove the hose. Um, and a little TV outlet connection for your cable TV at the park and also your low point water drain. We put a nice convenient little sewer hose storage in here. If you look at your tail lights here, they're going to be all LED operated tail lights um, and LED marker lights. You don't have to worry about changing bulbs uh, once a year or, or once every couple years. Those LEDs seem to last for a long time. If you, if you, once we're going through here, if you look, our paint job's beautiful. There's no paint lines in here. There's a lot of depth to the paint. And it's going to look like that for years and years down the road. Point out here, we have a rear backup camera on this model. Uh, projects an image of a rear, rear behind you. You can watch your tow car going down the road. Or also make sure there's not any obstacles back there you might run into. Put a 5,000 pound reach hitch on this unit. Uh, makes it ideal for towing a small boat or small car. Uh, with that Ford V10 motor you won't even feel it back there behind you. Coming around this side I want to show you our large storage compartment. This is your rear storage. Uh, plenty of room to fit some golf, golf clubs and also on a pressure LED lit switch for even lighting throughout. We put a 110 receptacle here right in your main camping area underneath the awning. If you needed to plug something in, a little radio or electric grill, whatever you happen to bring with you. Um, and another place to fill up your water right here. 
you look in this compartment here, we have a little bit of more added storage here for you for some little odds and ends. And then you have a nice pull-out tray for your batteries. Two batteries standard with an optional place for a third battery. Easy propane fill right here. You can just pull right up to the to the RV area and have them fill up their, your propane for you. And that brings us to our entry door. We use a nice double quickie electric step. Uh, very easy for getting in and out. Put a nice rubber kick pad here so you don't have to worry about scratching up your paint. Moving uh, towards the inside of your coach here, you can see we have a nice power one touch awning. Uh, the awning, will, you just press the button one time, it will go out. The awning's on a wind sensor. Uh, so if you get into a real heavy wind or rain and you're not around your coach, it'll close for you automatically. Uh, you don't have to worry about any kind of wind blowing it over your coach. You don't have to worry about legs being attached to the ground or attached to the side of your, your coach and bending and breaking. Uh, that seems to be a common problem in the industry is bent awnings. I'm going to show you this solid PTL door. It's going to be very, it's going to be a nice, heavy, insulated door. Uh, door also operates on keyless entry, uh, so you don't have to go fooling around with a key, especially sometimes at night. That could be difficult. You just press the same button you're going to use to unlock your driver passenger door. It's going to unlock your entry. Door. Grab handles for inside and out, very strong, help you get in and out of the coach nicely. And then that one touch power awning, very, very easy to operate. And that awning's also on a remote control. So now we're on the inside of the coach and uh, you're actually coming up from the rear so you can see how spacious, is it? Well, spacious the coach really is. You have a, a nice little walkway through here that you can get in and out um, from the front and back of your coach. Um, and the slide is in so right you just pushing a button to get that slide to go out. We use HWH hydraulics. They're a very well-known company in the industry. And you just push that button, it'll slide right out for you. All right, so moving on up here, I want to show you a couple of the features uh, that we offer in the Ford. It's going to give you a smart steering wheel uh, with controls for your cruise control and your, your, your phone. We also offer for 2014 the Ford Sync system, voice activated navigation, um, Sirius XM radio, and this also will provide your backup camera and Bluetooth for your phone to operate the phone or any kind of audio player you might have on there. If you notice your passenger seat swivels for added seating area and you have a six-way power driver's seat. Nice big large cup holders that will hold your coffee mugs and places to put your things. We have a, a couple 12-volt receptacles here plug your phone in and the Ford Sync system also offers you an auxiliary plug-in and a USB plug. Above your above your head here in your cab we cut this out to all Ford specs um, with a nice molded fiberglass interior cap. Um, easier access in and out of your cab. We have a fold-down TV here that swivels for your easier viewing if you want to put in sit in your recliner or sit in the dinette or power sofa option, whichever you prefer. Give you a nice little map storage um, and trinket things. And then in this door here, you have an antenna booster, some 12 volt fuses, easy access fuses, blade fuses, and a switch to operate your TV from inverter to shore power. If you, if you prefer not to run your generator going down the road and you wanna watch some TV, you can do that. Over here, if you've seen some of our other videos, you don't want to whack that antenna off that you're cranking up. Well, on the Platinum, you don't have to crank the antenna up. It's stationary up there, and all you do is press this little button which direction you like it to go, or it's coming in better, and it's going to give you HD digital antenna TV. We also offer a Blu-ray player, Blu-ray DVD player for your viewing convenience. If you have any special favorite Blu-rays you'd like to watch, show up on your nice large flat LED TV. Right over here we have a little central control station, nice European style hinges on your Georgia hardwood door cabinets. 
uh, uh, hour meter for your generator, start and stop for your generator, um, an electric switch for your hot water, uh, test your levels, water pump switch. This coach also features HWH automatic leveling, so you just press this button once and it's going to level the coach all by itself. All right. Again, here's your awning switch. We we include standard a 1000 watt inverter. There's your power inverter switch and then easy to operate rocker switches, very well labeled right at your entry so when you're coming in you can turn your lights on um, and be able to see getting in and out of the coach. This is for your house batteries, hard switch, so it's either always connected or always disconnected, and that's going to save your batteries when you store your coach. There's also an optional 95 watt solar charger, trickle charger, to keep your batteries on charge if you prefer that option. Here's going to be your AC thermostat. We have standard 15,000 BTU Dometic roof air conditioners with heat pumps already built into them. They work on two speeds, high and low, or auto, um, which would distinguish between high and low. Um, you can get just you can have just fan, you can have air conditioner, and you can also have your heat pump or furnace running off of this thermostat. So there's no separate thermostat for your furnace as well. Right in your slide out here, we have a nice dinette. I'll show you how easy this dinette folds down into a to a bed. We use two jackknives, fold together. You're not setting your table down and moving cushions together. You just fold them right together. Nice and big, nice and comfortable. Give you a nice place to sleep if you want to have a third person. I'll put these back up here. You can see how easy this goes in. See how easy that was? Very simple. Steel framed jackknife seats that will fold this into a bed. Uh, nice Corian, molded Corian tabletop here and MCD shades on your large viewing window. You can have a day shade or you can have a night shade, whichever you happen to need at the time. Now these windows are jealousy windows, so they'll fold out and you don't have to worry about rain getting in if you happen to leave one open a little bit when you go out to dinner and it drizzles or, or rains a little bit for you. We use all LED lighting through the coach so your dinette lights going to be LED and your reading lights are LED. All your slides finished, no raw materials should be showing in this coach when it is finished. Lots of overhead storage in this coach and all your cabinets are finished off throughout you're not going to have to worry about seeing any side walls behind any cabinetry. Again, I want to point out these posi, latch, posi latches. So that'll catch the lip there. And you don't have to worry about anything heavy flying out going around the curves. Soft touch ceiling, fantastic vents. Fantastic vents are fantastic. They're exactly like they say. Rain sensors, they will close if it starts raining. And also, um, Keep it very keep the airflow moving through here, so you don't have to run your air conditioner all day. It'll keep it keep it pretty decent temperature when it's warm outside. Right over here, we have a nice recliner, power recliner. See that? Just press a button, and you can relax, watch TV, mingle, whatever you like to do. If you have some company over, uh, very comfortable seat. I could probably take a nap in it right now. Throughout the whole coach we have a one solid piece vinyl flooring. It's not going to crack, it's slip resistant, uh, scratch resistant, very easy to keep clean. Sweep the coach. I want to point out up in your slide area, you have nice big extension drawers underneath. Posi latches for storage. Those are full extension so you can get to the stuff in the back. And also you have two nice little corner cabinets here for storing any extra odds and ends. Moving over here to our galley. 
We have a nice, big, deep stainless steel sink we use. All Corian, done right in house. Big Corian sink cover. So you can have extra counter space if you're not using your sink or using your stove. And then you can fold this up and you have a nice three burner LP gas stove for cooking. Underneath here, you have some storage for some pots and pans. Look at all the storage under there. You should be able to fit plenty of cookware in there to cook anything you need in this coach. And then you have two big, two nice drawers here and a little fold out for sink utilities. Your stainless steel faucet does pull out for easier spraying uh, and cleaning up. Again, MCD shades on your other windows as well. Stainless steel hood with a fan and a light on it. Moves us up here to our convection microwave cuisine art. It's going to cook a, cook a whole bunch of different types of food. So normally, well, whatever you probably would like to eat, you could eat with this with this microwave here. Nice and large inside. It's going to be number one in its in its class as far as microwaves as well. We like to use all name brand quality products here in the coach. Throughout your galley here you have your nice Corian that's going to bring you right into your refrigerator. Large refrigerator, separate freezer. You can put your ice trays in there. Um, and it's nice to have a freezer that's you don't have to go into your refrigerator to get to the freezer uh, and your freezer's not taking up room inside of your refrigerator. This is a three-way Dometic refrigerator. It's going to work on 110, 12 volt and LP gas. Give you a little bit of storage above your fridge. Uh, we also include a coffee maker for if you like coffee, if you don't, you can give it to one of your friends. This is a great feature here, pull-out pantry. A lot of people love the pull-out pantry. You can fit all sorts of canned goods or box items, um, and it's a good place for storage. Tucks right in, posi latch, so if it's full of cans, you don't have to worry about that baby coming out. If you look over on the opposite side of your guys, uh, big mirror, so you can make sure you're done up good before you go out. Yep, looking good today. Moving on to the bathroom area of this coach, you can see, you can open up the door. We put a little foot, foot stop on there um, for blocking off a little bit more added privacy in the coach. And it also gives you a nice big mirror in here as well. Uh, we use porcelain toilet here with a foot flush and a little rinse right here. So we keep it nice and washed out for you. We include another little mirror in here as well with a, with a hand towel rack. A little toilet paper dispenser. We also have a little fold up countertop extension here in your bathroom. Next to your small little stainless steel sink and stainless steel faucet for brushing your teeth or whatever you need to do in the restroom. Give you a little area down here for storage. Uh, if you need to store little minor things, uh, toothpaste, whatever. We also, even in, in all of our coaches, we have a nice solid shower door. If you can see, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really do it justice in the video, but this is a nice big shower. I mean, I'm a, I'm a decent sized guy and I could fit in here, wash up. This is not a place where we like to spend a lot of time anyway, so it's in and out. Delta shower head and a couple little towel bars in there for hanging your stuff. Nice magnetic closure, so water's not going to splash all over the rest of your coach. It's not a wet bath. You don't have to go to the bathroom in your shower. Very nice. LED lights here and a little little vent here for venting your, your shower steam or if you use the restroom or whatever, you can vent it right out with a jealousy, jealousy window here. Ceiling light switch and also another water pump switch in case you're you're out in the, in the boondocks and you need to flip your water pump on and can't get up to the front of the coach, it's right there. In your bedroom area you have some nice hanging space here on either side for hanging your clothes. Us guys, we get this little compartment right here to put our clothes, 
the ladies they can have both of these. Moving in the back of the two, 271 model here, we're going to have a rear twin set up. It's very comfortable. We use rear ma real mattresses uh, and also provide adequate storage underneath. And then we also have some storage on this side as well. And a little bit of storage there as well. Nice pull out drawers. More added storage. And a real nice little nightstand here. Give you a couple of drawers to throw some odds and ends in. And a nice 110 volt receptacle right here. You also have one right up here and you have another one right here as well. So 110 outlets all in your bedroom uh, in case you have anything you need to plug in or anything that you require for sleeping. Um, overhead storage all the way around your roof. So you have plenty of space to put all your stuff um, and bring it with you. We also have inside this coach in your bedroom an optional bedroom TV. Now this TV is on a swing arm as well so you can fold it for easy viewing of both parties. And we include a little another Blu-ray DVD back here as well. So if someone wants to lay in bed and watch TV and somebody else wants to watch TV up front you can can do it however you'd like to do it. Uh, we also have an emergency exit back here that can be vented, get you some nice airflow if you're in a nice cool place uh, and you want to go to sleep. Also in your bedroom we include another fantastic vent for more airflow, power on a rain sensor, um, so if it rains it'll close automatically um, and it'll keep it nice and keep the hot air out of here for you. Um, look, we, we run our furnace vents in, into our cabinetry here. You don't have to worry about sweeping things into them, and that furnace will keep you nice and warm here too. Coach House, we like to do everything as best as we can, and we like to keep you happy for as long as possible. Uh, we offer a factory 3-year, 36,000-mile warranty, um, and, it, and that warranty is good wherever it's convenient for you. Uh, you can take it to have any of your Coach House problems fixed, and we'll take care of that problem for you. Um, Again, I want to thank, thank you for your time today, and we're here if you have any questions.